Besides reviewing old and weird tech stuff, I also own modern gadgets as well. Case in point, this JBL Flip 5 wireless uh, speaker. It's a portable speaker. I'm sure that many of you are familiar with the brand. So let's just go on and open it as I shall be going through my experience purchasing this device. This is the original box that it came with. It's nicely col colorful, but the cardboard is, uh, well, it's a rather, um, I wouldn't say flimsy because that's a negative word that implies cheapness. Uh, I, I would say efficient packaging. I don't really care for the box. I just hold, held on to it by, um, well, it's a second nature to me. Sorry about uh, this, uh, well, this worn out or maybe dirty, scuffy looking packaging. I'll get back to this one in a minute. Let's just look here what we have in this booklet because I plain on all forgotten. This is the original USB type C cable, but I keep it as a backup, though I shall be using it from now on since I own quite a few gadgets that use that uh, particular connecting device. What? This is uh, an absorbent, a humidity absorbent, no need for this one. And a quick start guide as if you needed some. I don't think we do, so let's just put this thing, these things away. So let me just put this one away and get back to the JBL speaker. I love this packaging that it came with. I love this new uh, trend and this new um, particular uh, idea that manufacturers are getting into. They provide uh, the packaging that the product comes with when brand new is also a housing for transporting it. Sort of the way GoPro made with their Gore-Tex um, casing. Have a look at my video and you shall understand what I mean. It's the same thing here, though I would say that this is a rather interesting, uh, a rather interesting um, carrying case. You can only put it one way. And if your friends or uh, relatives are not uh, really careful, they put it with the bottom side inwards, then they can sort of damage the the packaging, this carrying case is not a big deal, but it's it only goes one way with the JBL logo upwards. So that's that's a way to keep this uh, uh, this carrying case intact and in good condition. And trust me, it's very important because you can throw this uh, inside your um, suitcase and just um, carry it without any worries that it might um, deteriorate. Now to the, now to the, um, well, to the product itself, the JBL Flip 5 wireless, um, wireless speaker. It's, well, it's quite beautifully made. It's an exquisite uh, design and built. Now, right now, this sounds like a promo video and I do apologize for this in advance because I don't think of this as a proper review. I haven't studied the market. I cannot give you an alternative to this Flip 5. I just saw it at a great price. I believe it was uh, somewhat discounted from 130 euros to 85 or 90 euros and I just I just went for it. I didn't care about other alternatives. I saw some reviews and I knew this packed all the basic features that I wanted. It, it's it got a great um, battery. It's got decent sounds. And well, its features are, well, it's an upper premium um, device but not a, not a luxurious or a over the top one. It was cheap, it's loud enough for me, it has plenty of details, 
it's very intuitive to use um, it's got great build quality and for all those reasons I just went for it I could have gotten a cheaper version a Chinese knockoff for a third of the price but that just just, just didn't sound right to me so I just went for the modest offering from a premium maker I know this is not the best one but I think for me it's the best alternative I know there are bigger JBLs um, that hold much more uh, power and have uh, bigger uh, housings but those are just cumbersome for me space uh, saving and uh, well uh, weight reduction were paramount that's a rather big word to use but that's how I felt I took it out camping it was great I took it out when I worked uh, at some places you know physical labor that you all, all occasionally do where let's say at the countryside or you have an estate or maybe that's another uh, big word maybe you have a project going on you fix your car or, or whatever and you want to listen to some audiobooks or some music this is a great alternative also one of the main reasons why I would consider this JBL Flip 5 it's it's actually a great way to get into classic cars I know this sounds a bit strange and off subject but think about it maybe you have a classic car or maybe you have a car with no a sound system in it enter the JBL you just put it snugly somewhere put on some uh, classic uh, music or whatever you're into rock and roll and stuff like that and you don't really need to invest a lot of money into a multimedia system for your classic car think you have maybe an old Mercedes from the 1990s which well it isn't a collector's car but maybe it doesn't have a CD player or stuff like that you don't really need to invest in modernizing the audio system in your classic car you just get a JBL and you're good to go with that in mind let me just turn it on and show you what this thing really sounds like what you need to do is as simple as one two three you just turn it on like so afterwards you connect your Bluetooth on your phone and turn on Bluetooth here as well and already my Galaxy uh, phone is searching for the JBL mm. Flip 5 and it will show you when it's mm. connected this is taking rather longer than usual as in a typical review fashion let me just connect it yeah so there you go I could can I have connected it rather um, easily okay and let me just put something on so you can have a listen I'll try to find something with no <laughs> with no um, st strings attached some um, music no copyrights all right free background music let's have a listen so as you can So as you could listen before this is actually an exquisite device I will not compare it to other um, stuff out there um, this is not a full-on uh, review the, think about it as an um, editorial piece an ex uh, a piece based on a clip based on my experience uh, I shall not be going out there as to recommend this above other brands but I will say this if you have a chance and get this on the cheap 
or you have a great deal offered for it, don't hesitate as it is a great device and actually even though I use it very rarely, I seldom uh, take it out of the box, uh, I would not um, regret one bit buying this, purchasing it. Of course, as any well-respected um, wireless speaker, this is actually waterproof and is rated, I don't know, it's it is um, waterproof IPX7, so you can take it on a pool, you could um, go with it in the rain. Um, I really like this um, nice string here, it came as standard, uh, but you could add um, different types of um, way uh, of uh, hand, hand, hand bands or whatever. Uh, whatever you feel like. Yeah, I know I'm rambling here, so don't think of this as a review. It's more of an editorial piece based solely on my experience and not on what the market has to offer. So this JBL Flip 5 is uh, an improved version of the Charge 4 and uh, Charge 5. Um, it's got a bit more um, it's got a bit more um, quality to it, it's got a bit more battery life in it. Again, I'm not going to try and compare it to the other um, products out there because really already the Flip 6 has come along. There's the Charge 5, the Extreme 3, there's a whole bunch of uh, products in the JBL lineup. So yeah, this was a rather uninspiring uh, of the um, tip of my tongue sort of editorial piece. I don't know if you enjoyed it or not, just consider the JBL5 a great product and again it's not an advertisement or any of that, but it was hanging around here so I wanted to show it to you. Maybe some of you out, out there want to know what a JBL Flip 5 can do in terms of basic stuff or you just want to see the packaging so you don't get scammed by any knockoffs if there are any i don't know so thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye bye